Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Well, it's about a week before the draft. All right. I was super excited. Thank you for watching, uh, for tuning in on this YouTube channel. I've got rookie reports on all the rookies we're going to be drafting in our rookie drafts, but I wanted to jump on and do a quick show on some running backs that I am going to be selling before the draft. Okay. Um, we're all excited about the draft, right? We all have players from our dynasty rosters and we're looking at our rosters and we're thinking, oh my goodness, you know what? There's some big holes in the running back landscape out there in the NFL that some of these players and some of these spots are going to be taken with the incoming rookies, right? So I'm going to talk about five players today, five running backs specifically that I have shares of that I've got offers, you know, I've got offers out there to sell these players because I believe these next five players are going to be, um, you know, losing their value after the draft. This the spots that they're in are just ripe for these NFL teams drafting a running back. All right. So last year we had, you know, Tyler Algier kind of lost, uh, you know, his uh, value when Bajon Robinson went to Atlanta and Kenneth Walker. We were a little concerned about him when Zach Charbonnet went to Seattle. Right. So let's get right to it, man. Let's get into the five uh, players that I think are going to lose value. Uh, all the uh, data here on these videos that you're looking at here on the screen uh, are all from the fantasy pros. Okay. So Rashad White number is my number one guy that I would be concerned. Now, I did a little research on visits, and it looks like Tampa Bay has had the most running back visits of any NFL team right now. This is a week out before the draft. In fact, Jonathan Brooks is, is in town, I believe, this week to take a look. So that tells you everything you need to know uh, about the future of Rashad White. He's been a nice, serviceable, serviceable running back uh, for Tampa Bay. He had uh, close to 1,000 yards, but his yards per average is 3.6. And coming out of college from Arizona State, we were excited about his pass catching ability, which he's lived up to the hype with 64 receptions. So from a PPR standpoint, he's been a pretty solid running back. I mean, he was RB6, you can see here on the screen. And the ADP right now is RB10. And, uh, you know, the ECR is basically uh, their overall rankings for their experts over there at Fantasy Pros, you know, is, is RB13. There's no way that next year he is going to be RB6. Um, there is no way that they do not draft a running back. So, you know, Rashad White is not somebody I was super impressed with coming out of college. I think he's been serviceable, but he is my number one running back sell. If you have shares of him, um, you were excited last year. You got the productivity. You got the fantasy points from him. But I don't believe in 2024 you were going to get the same production. So I'd be looking to move him out. Um, you know, this is a value game we play, right, in this dynasty space. So, you know, you, you know, you can't fall in love with players. You want to move them out when they've got high value and buy them at their low points. Rashad White is my number one running back sell. Number two, I'm going to go with uh, James Cook, you know, age 24, young running back, really surprised Georgia product um, that he's really been running the rock for the Bills for the last, you know, two years. I mean, he had over a thousand yards this year, looked really good doing it. Um, you know, 54 targets at 44 receptions. So he caught the ball out of the backfield. Latavius Murray is in town, um, you know, kind of nipping at his heels. But I just have this sneaky suspicion that the Bills just realized James Cook has been, you know, serviceable. He has done a nice job, but we know the NFL is going to a committee backfield. And I think the Bills are going to take one of these bigger bruising running backs. We have some bigger uh, running backs in this draft class. And I wouldn't be surprised maybe third, fourth round that the Bills end up taking uh, a running back that could slightly, um, you know, deflate Cook's value. Now, he was RB9 last season, and he's currently at the ADP is RB11. So again, just outside the top 10 as far as ADP. But, you know, they draft somebody in the third or fourth round, and they decide that they're going to run a little bit more. I mean, they don't have any wide receivers, the Bills, right now. So I could see them leaning on the run, which should pad his value and provide a floor for James Cook. But again, when you have one of these running backs that are in this great spot with really nobody behind them to nip, you know, nip at their heels to get carries, you can pretty much be assured that the NFL team is going to uh, fill out um, the roster, uh, or at least that position, you know, on their roster. I mean, Latavius Murray is, is pretty old. Old and Ty Johnson really is not a, uh, a running back that I think they're going to be comfortable with putting out there if, in fact, James Cook did get hurt for any length of time. All right. My third running back that I consider selling is um, Kyron Williams. I mean, he came out of nowhere, right? Came to the Rams, got nicked up the first year, emerged last year. He was a league winner for a lot of people. He was really, really good. Over 1,000 yards, average five-point yards a carry, had 32 receptions as well, and some touchdowns through the air. Um, you know, RB3 last season, right? So, I think there's a lot of people, and listen, I have two shares of Kyron Williams, and I'm going to maybe 
I'm going to sell one because I just think that they are going to draft another running back. Now, he's going to probably get the ball a lot again this year, but they might bring in someone to be that kind of pass catching back behind him and let him work in between the tackles. Ronnie Rivers is not a great player, and Zach Evans was a late day three pick last year who I don't believe is really ever going to be a part of that offense. Don't be surprised if the Rams select a running back in this class. We do have some smaller pass-catching running backs to uh, kind of contribute in that backfield. So again, when you've got a guy RB3, is he going to be RB3 again in 2024? I just don't think so. So again, this is a value play. Now listen, you might own these three players we've talked about already, and you don't want to sell them, but that's okay. I'm just saying, consider it. Put offers out there. You just never know what you're going to get. You might get an offer. You know, Kyron Williams is really a high-valued running back right now. People are excited about him. If you're deep in that position, you could you could move him off. You know, for a very high value and fill other needs of your roster. So um, again, this is a value play. All right. My fourth running back I want to talk about is Zamir. White, age 23. Now, people are excited about him, all right? Josh Jacobs is gone. He had 450 yards last year, averaged 4.3 yards a carry, had 15 receptions out of the backfield, so it looks like they used him out, you know, side a little bit, didn't get a ton of yardage. He was RB60 last year, but his ADP now is RB32, so he's jumped up 50%, and there's people thinking that, is he going to be the guy um, for the Raiders this year to carry the rock. Now, coming out of Georgia, his profile was pretty good. I On this channel, that's what I do. I scout rookies and future dynasty assets, so I didn't say at the beginning of the show, hit that subscribe button. Um, take a look at some of the content I, I have out here. I got a lot of rookie reports and stuff on a lot of these players um, that we're talking about. But... Um, Zamir White, I think, is getting his ripe. Alexander Madison's there now, but he can't ever stay to seem to stay healthy. And are they going to just go with Zamir White for this season? Possibly. But there's a good possibility, too, that they are going to look at him as a you know serviceable, maybe running back this year a little bit, but then move off him with better talent. And that's what happens in the running back room in the NFL. The guys will you know leave early and, and be shipped out early just because future draft classes offer cheaper alternatives. Now, Zamir White's going to be a cheap running back for quite some some time because he's what, in the second year in the league, maybe third, you know, second or third. But um, in any case, you know, people are excited about Samir White possibly being the guy who's going to get, you know, you know, a thousand yard season and, and get the rock. And he very might well be. But you also might find another owner in your league who might really think Samir White is going to be great. And maybe before the draft say, you know what? I don't. I have shares of Zemir White. I think I'm going to try and move them and see what you can get. You never know what you might get out there from another owner. All right, my fifth and final running back that I would consider selling right now is Tony Pollard. I don't have any shares currently of Tony Pollard, age 26. You know, he's over at Nashville in, 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 um, on the, tech, on the uh, Titans right now. So good season last year, 1,000 yards, played for Dallas. They obviously didn't want him to be the bell cow. I mean, I think all you need to hear really is they, they didn't want to pay the guy. Um, and now he's going to be sharing the backfield with Spears with King Henry out of Tennessee. So again, a lot of people are excited. He was RB21 last year. Um, he's got RB19 ADP right now on Fantasy Pro. So he looks like he is a running back too. I think they split the backfield big time and with both of those running backs. And again, um, you know, they're going to be in a full timeshare, but there are people out there. I know because they, people talk about it in my Slack chat all the time that they think Tony Pollard is going to be the guy. They're going to be the bell cow that they don't believe Tajay Spears is going to be a part of the offense. So if you've got an owner in your league out there that you think that might think that Pollard is going to be the RB one on that team and get, you know, 80% of the carries and be that bell cow that, you know, he was at Dallas last year, throw an offer out there. You never know. So I'm interested because I think all of these teams that we're talking about, you know, could potentially draft a running back. Maybe not the Tennessee Titans, but the other four teams I think are pretty ripe for taking a running back in the draft. So I hope you enjoyed the content, man. Hit that subscribe button. Um, we're going to be doing all sorts of shows before the uh, before the draft, after the draft. And if you are interested in learning about future draft classes shortly after the draft, I'm going to be scouting and breaking down the 2025 rookies for you. Hit that subscribe button. I'd very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching.